feeling strong on the mountain and feeling confident in the mountain really makes a difference whether you're successful or not. This time it paid off. So we're getting all our gear ready to head into camp for a week hunting Audad here in Mexico. We're gonna be up on top of this mesa. So we're getting kind of organized, getting our gear ready. We're gonna take a donkey pack train up to the top, drop off all our gear. And then we're gonna hunt off our backpacks uh, for a week, looking for some big rams. Where'd the donkeys come in? <laughs> the donkeys just appeared out of nowhere. No one's really sure where they came from. But there's a lot of them, which is gonna be awesome. These guys are beasts. They're true mountain hunters. So I met Eduardo and Gino because they reached out to me over email after they both had been doing Mountain Tough for a couple of years. They really love the programs and they noticed a huge difference. I did my first thought at hunt like five years ago, maybe. And um, I usually used to do like the normal gym stuff. I thought I was ready for the hunt. I went on the hunt. It's a really hard hunt. When I got back, I got surprised that I thought I would do better in the mountains with the type of training I was doing. And I found Mountain Tough. I decided to try it out and I was hooked from the start and I've been doing it ever since. It was when we started doing these more challenging hikes or, or backpacking hunts. Like I personally did, didn't work out a bunch. Like I went to the gym sometimes and run and bike and stuff, but never like actually did workouts. And on those hunts, like I remember like on the third day or fourth day going down the mountains, my, my, my legs would like start to shake. I don't know, you, you feel like you're not strong enough there with a, with a heavy pack and so like me and Gino, we started like working out and stuff. It's crazy how the harder you work your body, the, the more mentally strong you become. I feel much more stronger, much more confident, like in the mountains. And I think going into the mountains, confidence is key. Yeah, this mountain top gives you that. It's like horse hair. Yeah. And they also have it like on their knees. Like you see on that All front knee. Down. Like it comes out of their, their knees. Jeez. 
I'm surprised that he went that far with a like a spine shot. Yeah. It was pretty deep. Pretty deep in, in. It was deep. Yeah, like three quarters of a arrow in. Yeah. Beautiful ram. Congrats, brother. Oh, thanks, guys. Jeez. Right on. <laughs> this thanks is what we on. came for, man. They are freaking big. Stout. Yeah. It's really fat as well. Wrapped all the way around. No way, man. Look what it's here. That's insane. One yard away from the from the ram. <laughs> Dude. That's yours. Damn. Lucky horse you. That is lucky. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new uh, oh, new movement. <laughs> it's like the Turkish kid up. You have an odd ad on your back. Yeah. <laughs> to get Gino a sheep. Should have brought a target. They're very, very dedicated to archery. Being a rifle hunter in Mexico is a little bit harder than back home because it's just harder to get good hunting rifles down here in Mexico. So much more complicated, much more regulated. So for them, it was almost simpler just to ready. kind of dedicate their lives to archery. Always ready at a pretty young age, so they take archery hunting really serious. They take their gear and their practice very serious. They're both really accomplished archers. They've, they've traveled on a lot of the same mountain hunts that we look for in the States, so like British Columbia goat and New Mexico elk, always hunting with their bows. But down here, that's that's pretty rare, it's not like back at home. We did it. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Let's get down and get him, huh? Six years in the making, man. Oh yeah. Thank you. Oh. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Yeah. Ram down.
we're getting Gino's ram back to camp. We'll get everything cleaned up. Get some food and then we're gonna go pack out Eduardo's ram. So Eduardo has a ram down. So it looks like we're gonna end up with two pack outs today. Find some water, some food, just keep packing. Well, I'm running, I'm running like my hands on fire, and I don't intend to stop even when my legs grow tired. And yes, I'm stumbling, I'm stumbling on my piece of mind. There's regret in my you like, oh, this tree's nice. I'll use this tree to get up this cliff. And then you grab it and it's covered in thorns. Flowers have thorns. The rocks have thorns. Everything has thorns. Covered up my soul far too long. And I've got a message from Colorado straight from Texas. Captured most of me, just let me be. started the Mountain Tough programs a couple of years ago. started noticing that I was getting stronger, not, not only physically, but mentally. There's just these mental barriers you go through while you're doing the workouts that I think just permeate to other parts of your life. Like at work, you're more dedicated to the family as well. Yeah, it's really, really changed my life. I've got a secret and I do not tend to keep 